greatest triumph of civilization is often seen as our mastery of heat. Yet our conquest of coal is an equally epic journey from dark beginnings to an ultra-cool frontier. For centuries, cold remained a perplexing mystery. Nobody had any idea what it was, much less how to harness its effects. Yet in the last hundred years, cold has transformed the way we live and work. Imagine homes or supermarkets without fridges and frozen foods, or skyscrapers without air conditioning, or hospitals without liquid oxygen. We take for granted the technology of cold, yet it has enabled us to explore outer space and the inner depths of our brain. And as we develop new ultra-cold technology to create quantum computers and high-speed networks, it may even change the way we think and interact. This is the story of how scientists and dreamers over the past four centuries plunged lower and lower down the temperature scale to conquer the cold, enrich our lives and attempt to reach the ultimate limit of cold, a holy grail as elusive as the speed limit of light, absolute zero. A century ago, the great polar explorers were pushing further and further towards the coldest places on Earth, the North and South Poles. The competition to reach these goals was matched by a less publicized but equally daunting scientific endeavor, the attempt to reach the coldest point in the universe, absolute zero. This mysterious barrier was a physical paradox as tantalizing as the speed limit of light, which can also never be exceeded. It was a frontier so enticing that rival physicists from all over Europe began a race towards this absolute limit of cold. This is a story of showmanship, setbacks, rivalry and despair. The stakes were high. For the winner, there was glory and the chance of a Nobel Prize. For the loser, the prospect of being a forgotten foot soldier of science. 